the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's law. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 204, Jeremiah 7-9 Idol worship and temple praise Jeremiah cried as his heart throbbed in anguish for the people who did not repent or return to God. First point, the people of South Judah worshipped the idols and only worshipped God on the surface in the temple. Jeremiah 7 Verses 1 to 15 was Jeremiah's temple sermon. God told Jeremiah of the worship he wanted. Stand at the gate of the Lord's house and there proclaim this message. Hear the word of the Lord, all you people of Judah, who come through these gates to watch the Lord. God wanted the people to worship with a clear heart and mind. No lies, justice to their neighbor. Care to the foreigners, orphans, and widows. No bloodshed and no idol worship. But the people of South Judah went all out on the idol worship. Will you steal and murder, commit adultery and perjury, burn incense to Baal and follow other gods you have not known, and then come and stand before me in this house, which bears my name, and say, We are safe. Safe to the all these Detestable things. Has the house which bears my name become a den of lovers to you? But I have been watching, declares the Lord. Later on, Jesus made reference to this when he went to the Jerusalem temple and saw the people making the holy ground a den of lovers. Is it not written, My house will be called a house of prayer for all nations? But you have made it a den of robbers. Despite this, the people still did not repent. Second point, God told Jeremiah not to pray for the people of South Judah. Now God told Jeremiah not to pray for the people of South Judah. So do not pray for these people, nor offer any plea or petition for them. Do not plead with me, for I will not listen to you. The people did not repent and continued on with their idol worship. God rebuked their disobedience and idol worship yet again. Since the day he delivered his people out of Egypt, he had raised many prophets and leaders, starting with Moses, in order to establish a kingdom of priests through them. But now, with these people, no hope was to be found. Third point. God told them how severe their punishment would be for idol worship. South Judah had gone so far with their idol worship that God said that they loved, worshipped, followed, obeyed, and prayed them. They had arrogance in their hearts. They felt no shame for their detestable ways. They refused to listen to God, and they did not care. They interpreted the laws in their own ways. How can you say, we are wise, for we have the law of the Lord, when actually the lying pen of the scribes has handled it falsely? God expressed his heart through his laws. God had also delivered his message through many prophets. God did not want the people to obey like robots but he did require them to make decisions and to be responsible. Their way of life now was a decision to worship idols and to do detestable things. Fourth point, Jeremiah lifted his lobes and lamented as the people did not have any intention to repent. Jeremiah chapter 8 is his lamenting song toward South Judah. To the people who did not care to repent, Jeremiah cried on their behalf. He lifted his heart. He was deeply distressed at the people who interpreted God's laws in their own ways and did not believe a single word he said. Chapter 9 continues with his lamenting song. South Judah, 
who told so many lies and led detestable lives was a pitiful sight. All they did was cry out for what they wanted. God declared war on them, but they cried for peace. They only paid attention to the words of the false prophets, but this did not hide the truth that God would punish them. What the people of South Judah should have done was to face the facts and to obey God's decision. Fifth point, God's conclusion for South Judah was their close. God told Jeremiah of the close of South Judah. God explained of the pain they would experience from the Babylon Empire. God rebuked the people who felt no shame in their behavior. Their only hope was God, but they failed to see this, and so God's conclusion was to lap up South Judah. I am so excited that you have in your hands now and on your phones the Tong Doc Bible app. And let me tell you why. Very few people, just a handful of people in the world understand the way Dr. Zhou does. The way that this is one story from Genesis to Revelation, one story. And what does it mean for us to daily live that story as our life story? And he has found a way to do this. We need daily marinating of our mind and the soaking of our spirit in, in the Word of God. And that's why a, a, a Tong Dot Bible is so important. The scriptures, the story, Genesis to Revelation, is the daily mouth-to-mouth -mouth breathings of the Spirit of God into humans to make us truly who God made us to be. And that's why this app is so important. This app shows you how to do mouth, that God enables God to do mouth to mouth resuscitation on you every day of your life, 365 days a year. I'm so glad you have it. You will feel that healing that comes from mouth to mouth breathings of the Spirit on you as you use this app. 